Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to enable the Mika effect for Microsoft Edge, which is a semi-transparent blur effect that shines through the colors of the desktop image on the frame of the application. And this aligns a little bit closely with the design language of Windows 11. Okay, first you're going to need the Kennedy version of Microsoft Edge. Actually, you're going to need version 140 or higher. And to do that, you need to go to this website and then we need to download the Kennedy version. Then just double click it and it will install automatically on your computer. And you can see right now I don't have the effect enabled. So and to enable the feature, we need to open a new tab and then we need to go to this path. This will open the flags page to this specific setting. And then on show Windows 11 visual effects in browser, select the enable option and then click the restart button. Expands to the context menu. And we can also control this feature by going to the settings and then on appearance, we're going to notice a new show Windows 11 visual effects in browser option. Now, it is not a secret that Microsoft is taking a long time to bring the Mika effect to the web browser. In older versions, the company actually disabled the option and now it's back. So if that happens again, there is another way to bring the Mika effect into the browser by using the Chromium integration. And let me show you how to do that, just in case if the previous steps didn't work for you. So and what you need to do is just to right click on the icon for Microsoft Edge, and then we right click on the Microsoft Edge name and select properties. And then on the target fill, just need to add one space. And then we need to append the enable features equals Windows 11 Mika title bar. Click apply, click OK, and then restart the web browser. And as you can see, now we have the Mika effect also enabled on the web browser. And as you can see, it also expands to the context menu. Previously, this didn't happen. It only worked for the title bar, but I guess on version 140, the Mika is working correctly. Now, if we go to the settings and then we go to appearance, you can see that the option is no longer available. That's because we're using a different implementation. Now, just to let you know, this only works on the Canary version of Edge. I just tested on the beta version of Edge and on the version for the dev channel. And as you can see, that implementation is not working. And that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this feature and if you're going to be enabling it on your browser. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.